Let's begin. We do have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You might be in the energy of groundiness and practicality, in the energy of reciprocation, in the energies of getting back in balance. Some of you are single, right? Nine of Pentacles, the energy of, okay, I'm good. I'm focusing on myself. Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. And yet we have a cup of love for somebody. Uh, we need communication. We need emotions. We might be in a new emotional experience here. Page of Cups is about that. And the Six of Cups. We hope we are going to win. We will see. I'm pretty sure you will, Sagittarius. All the Sagittarius win. And other signs too. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, we are passionate about someone. Uh, we want to reciprocate. We want to have love. We want to give love. It's a beautiful energy, right? Getting grounded again. Focusing on everyday life and how we can make somebody happy and fulfilled. Oh, we have. I'm going to take this one because really kind of uh, fell. Seven of Wands. I'm going to put it. We, we might be a little bit defensive. But, uh, sorry, Nine of Wands. Why do I say Seven? Nine of Wands. We might be a little bit defensive, self-protective, a little bit hurt. It's like, no, 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 no. And yet life gives us something. Two of Swords. Contemplating a decision. Okay. Beautiful. Now let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one. Nine of Wands and the King of Swords. What's going on? Might be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius involved in this. But we have here the energy of legalities, of doing things right, emotional detachment, self-protection, being on your guard. And we kind of have to be with a mask on. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what this is all about. Might be a legal thing that we are very self-protective about. But let's see before we jump to conclusions, right? So the Sagittarius past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let us have the current energies. I'm going to take it because I want it to come out. Your person and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups, I know, I know, and the Empress. Abundance and love and new love. I, I kind of feel such that is, we might be um, having here a king with two queens, right? One is a new queen and the other one is the Empress. Um, we will see, but definitely two feminine energies from two different, um, I don't want to say backgrounds, but it does feel like you know, the Empress, I mean, she's uh, kind of the queen of the house. And then we have the Queen of Cups. She's sensitive. She's intuitive. Um, mystic to some point, right? So, oh, well, let's see. So, Sagittarius, you and um, you in the past, right? We have the Five of Pentacles and the Star Aquarius energy. It is a little bit of abandonment and rejection, right? And um, I feel that uh, this is you healing this. Um, however that happened, either you said no thank you, they said no thank you, but no matter what, um, with the star energy is the, um, also the energy of acceptance, right? It's the energy of, okay, I'll heal this, I'll align, I'll, I'll accept um, and, um, and heal, right? This energy. Um, it has... It has also a meaning of spirituality. It has also a meaning of growth and uh, wish fulfillment. And it, it feels like, you know, somebody saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find a benefit in it. You know, maybe we don't see one. I mean, Five of Pentacles is struggling with the separation, with the financial aspect of it, uh, with the rejection, the lack of communication, right? And still you found the strength to move on. That's the star energy. And yet you found, um, you know, the strength. Um, it has an energy of forgiving um, and, and moving on. It has, again, a lighter spiritual energy. Now, such as this person of yours might have been a Capricorn. We do have the devil and the ten of wands. <clears throat> and, of course, it has the um, energy of burdens, of responsibility, of working hard, being touched by the dynamics between the two of you, showing up a little bit obsessed, showing up a little bit um, kind of probably emotionally codependent or financially. Ten of Wands is the energy of, of work, of uh, 
money um, of sustainability, right? I'm working hard so that I have my reward um, sooner, right? That's a ten of wands energy. And, uh, but it um, shows up like a little bit tormented by mutual energies between the two of you. And here we have the King of Swords again and the Hangman. Probably a connection that um, um, came to a standstill, a legal one, right? We know King of Swords is a lawyer, a judge, law enforcement, and the Hangman, right? We contemplated, we observed, we looked into it, changed perspective. And the result was the king of swords a little bit of law a little bit of judgment of sentence of serving the papers and saying you know maybe this one doesn't work uh at least somebody did or contemplated the idea or thought about and changed perspectives about um and it was heavy right for both of you but it, on your side it comes with a sense of acceptance a sense of uh, understanding the vibes and aligning right so that it flows instead of blocking something now such days where are we at this time we do have the death scorpio energy the strength and the chariot there is no other way first of all three major arcana kind of like the universe saying i'm in charge dude <laughs> right it's kind of like saying you know i'm i'm on it but boy it speaks of the uh, power within you right because we do have the chariot which is success and moving forward moving away and saying you know what breaking free and saying i will take charge we do have the strength inner strength and courage and the death we ended we transformed and now we are ready to move on there is no other way to put this and the universe is kind of blunt with this and kind of it has a uh, a sense of congratulations you've made it right i mean death we it's endings and new beginnings but most importantly it's transformations this experience changed me and the way i function right that's a, the death um and the strength is like right brought to you a sense of I'm, I'm in control i'm powerful i can do this and a sense of i know where my future um, um lays right now, this person of yours, you might have kids with them, uh, Sagittarius, and might be a Leo. You do have the Leo twice so far in your current energy, unless there is a Leo involved somewhere in this. Um, and the King of Wands, which is your energy, right? Uh, it's Leo energy, uh, Knight of Wands is Sagittarius, but again, can very well be uh, your energy and it's all over them and only you make them happy. That's a fact, right? Um... It has a sense of enlightening and truth. It has a sense of awakening for this person at this time. It's a jump start, right? From uh, the devil energy to the sun energy, right? From the dark to the light. Um, and um, it has a sense of um, concerns about children, concerns about family, um, fully attached to you. I don't know if, you know, if it's in a, an obsessive way or what. Um, but it has one and a, a sense of focus, right? The sun is also focusing on things that uh, bring um, truth to somebody and an awakening. And it doesn't look like a, a, a tough one, but definitely it was one in the past. So um, now mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the seven of cups and the eight of pentacles. Both of you confused whatever happened um, in the past. And whatever legal steps we had to take, I kind of uh, feel that both of you, you are confused at this time. And yet focused on what needs to be done when it comes to this connection, right? Um, it, it has a sense of independent work uh, for you, such that is because you are such in a powerful place and you put your whole being into changing transforming staying strong and moving forward with success it's like really um the biggest determination ever to succeed while this person you know the more you detach the more they feel connected um and awakened that you are the one you know they only want you they it's it has a sense of focus but yet right seven of cups what am i supposed to do that's the energy that's that's also can very well be your en their energy while your energy is the eight of pentacles right i am working on my future i'm focused and i know what i want um 
they know what I want. They know what they want, and they want you. You know what you want, and you want to break free. So, um, all that to say, you know, that we might uh, be wanting two different things, um, two different ways, right? Energy coming your way. Um, I just love this embracing changes, right? We have the wheel of fortune again. The universe. You have twice the confirmation of the universe is in charge. Is going is transforming your life and it's uh, bringing you to a to new um to a new path and then we have you in the night of one's energy right um heading towards your future and it has an enthusiastic energy right night of ones is a lot of passion um towards what the future holds and i feel that you are there such that is you are so there um and the, the universe is delivering, by the way. If you want to change, well, change is coming. Um, and it comes in the form of a very kind energy with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. It has, um, you know, the future is kind, is, of, is abundant, it's um, kind of sensitive, is intuitive. Um, it's emotionally stable, right? I mean, the future is bright, um, such that is just by the, uh, of course, we have something to fight for. Nine of Wands with the King of Swords is really fighting a legal battle of some sort or um, something that involves, you know, contracts and pieces of paper and signatures and due process and step by step. But at the end of the day, I mean, the future is bright. Now, this person of yours, Eight of Swords with the Four of Swords. Yeah, definitely your plan to break free, destabilize it not destabilizes them eight of swords is an obsessive energy we had the devil in the past they are just obsessed about you and the four of swords right a lot of thinking it's also healing the mind i'm not gonna lie and and silence but i'm just by the combination of energies and the uh, you know it's the instability of it you know somebody needs to hear you might be in a connection with somebody who's not very stable we dance between dark energies and feeling responsible and guilt to the sun and we go back to the fears of the mind the obsessions of the mind and um you know confining themselves themselves in a very obsessive place and staying put not a lot of action right if when it comes to their journey and what they need to accomplish Mutual energy, some food for thought, Sagittarius, because you don't want to hurt each other. We do have the Three of Swords and the Emperor, right? We want to take control of whatever heartbreak happened, whatever pain is going on right now, whatever things that are not flowing between you and your person. We are taking control. We are taking charge. We do have a plan. That's the Emperor. If not, this is advice, right? It's a major arcana, uh, Sagittarius. How about... A plan to solve this uh, painful situation between you and your person because you know it's over you know you have it I mean the death and the strength is really strongly known that a chapter is closed and it's about time to start a new one that is no going back right that is no going back it's a whole reading and um, yeah um, so let's ask for some guidance you know me um, we need to see what you are guiding and you you know you always have to use your better judgment i'm going to say it anyways uh, but the main per point is we receive something if it resonates you take it <laughs> and we move on so sagittarius we need some dating <laughs> i love this I, I love this energy dating it's like oh you are you are in a new cycle and a new love cycle starts with dating how about inviting someone and you do have the Ace of Cups, right? So we know it's a, a new love is in your hands right now. You might be in love with somebody. It's a mature love, um, stable one. I mean, the Empress and the Queen of Cups, right? We have people, um, you know, who evolved, um, you know, cho chose a path and um, um, took all the lessons uh, that came along the way, right? So we are guided to date. We are guided to self-respect, Sagittarius. Um, I don't know if we lost some in the uh, previous relationship, um, but now it uh, has something to do with dating and self-respect. You have to respect your beat, your feelings, your rhythm, whatever you want to do, while um, you know respecting the other person. We do have Divine Masculine. I'm pretty sure I kind of picked up the energy of um, 
of a masculine with um, two feminine energies because now we have, you know, please act from a place of divine masculinity, a place of higher self, a place of uh, generosity, a place of kindness, a place of respect for everybody involved. And again, chivalry. Are you kidding me? Manners, respect, um, kindness, being like a full gentleman and bottom of the deck i love you these are powerful words and i'm gonna take abundance because you do have the empress as the overall energy this is abundance and i love you i, I feel such that as if you are in a new relationship here you need to say i love you and you need to focus on the abundance with this person and i feel that it's abundance of love and not um something else so such a beautiful energy i love you and abundance and self-respect and coming from a place of divine masculine now let's look into the energies we need to put back into the flow and we do have imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind so when it comes to dating you are really um, guided to be creative use your imagination we have, we have self-respect and empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. So for your situation uh, ending, right? We know what we need to put back into the flow. And maybe lately we kind of forgot about. And guess what? Now we have to bring it back. And we have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. We know this person of yours that you connect with, such as they go from the devil, the sun, and the obs and going back to obsession. So you are really guided to be kind, empathetic, to not judge, respect everybody else's path. And of course, it's your turn to surrender negative thinking. So such as you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. And there is a such Sagittarius out there who really needs to be empathetic and um, full of compassion. So you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. So Sagittarius, I don't know if we got into that kind of dynamic where uh, we are in a fight with this person. We have twice the King of Swords, might be a legal battle for children, for money, for abundance whatever we need to split or what, but um, empathy and compassion and judgment, three out of the five um, guidance energies that we ask for. So, um, yep, yeah, new love and kindness for the one that just ended. Um, so, such that is, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe, please stay strong, and come see me next time. Love you, take care.